Yeah, the Dollar Tree's been helping me do a little self-care this morning. I'm <laughs> haul in my uh, cow pajamas, but they're clean. I put them on because it's cold right now, and I'm fixing to go out with the animals, and I didn't want to get my dress on, and I've been doing self-care, and I thought, why not? I uh, brought some stuff to show you. I put my color on this morning. Yeah, color easy. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And I get it at the Dollar Tree. Not everything I used was the Dollar Tree this morning, but some of it. You know, the lips get thin. So I was using some of this lip plumper by, I think it's Tony. Yeah. And then I turn around and I tried a new lipstick that I hauled a little while back. I don't care for it that much, so I'll probably... Uh, get rid of it only because it's dry. It's too dry on the lips. I don't really get the color I want. It's called a color. And I forget the brand of it. I'm just not a fan of it. So I started out with these two mascaras to try to plump my, you know, uh, eyelashes up. And of course you gotta have some let me see, spa cream, beauty cream. Try to get the wrinkles gone. So, yeah, I use a lot of my Dollar Tree products. What was cracking me up is I was in the Dollar Tree the other day and my nails were popping off. This one popped off after I put my color on this morning. I thought, I'm not super gluing them back on. As they pop off, maybe the Dollar Tree can help me replace them. I've got these nails. Let me see where the box is. It's called Press On Nails by B Color. And I'm not sure what this color particularly is, but it was close enough today. And I know the nails are probably going to be too long for what I need to do this week. But we're going to try this. I'm not moving my camera because I've got to get some stuff. That dropped them all out. I think I'm going to have to put these in a little container. Because once I flipped it. Uh-oh. I thought I was going to have to peel something off of it. I better watch those. I think it's already sticky without peeling anything off. I did kind of file it down. And buff it. And use the alcohol, it said. I got pretty big fingers. So I don't know if this thumbnail is actually going to work. <laughs> work. It matches my moo cow. It says to hold it for 30 seconds. Can we count? I'm looking at my camera. I tell you, uh, show you something else, but I got to hold this for 30 seconds. Maybe the heat. I think this might work. It's not 30 seconds yet. I've been wanting to try this for so long. I talked to a lady, uh, about something else in the store when I got these, because, you know, I bought other ones, and I found these, and I thought they would get them. It's been over 30 seconds. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it with... It's more of a flesh. It's a little more pointed than I like. I like round. But I could also go over it probably with a polish that would be... I'm just cheating. So we're going to see if this holds up through the haul. Yeah. I bought that one that day to add to the collection of the ones I hadn't used. Do y'all ever do that? I say most of everything I buy, I buy with purpose. And I do. But, yeah, I'm a little, should I change? I think I'll leave this on for now. I could have used these. They're pressed on nails, no glue needed too. And I like those. I thought those might be even good for Christmas time. They have some red in them, especially if I don't get my nails done. Yeah, you'll see two different ones here. But you'll hear about that in another 
Yeah, you'll hear about that in another haul. And while I was talking to the lady, we were talking about lashes, and I asked her if she'd ever tried these. I told her I'd bought a few, but I don't like real dramatic. And like I said, with my mascara, I was trying to get my lashes longer. And she said, go for it. <laughs> I didn't do it today. I think one new thing at a time. It's holding. It's holding. Look, look how much better that looks than the nail I had got done. <laughs> huh. Ah, oh, chicky. I'm crazy this morning. We gotta go off in a little bit, so I gotta hurry up so I can get dressed. But anyway, I got some of the aqua lashes in the. Gonna see some of them. I thought would tell you like if they're dramatic or what. It's three four four by Ardell. Also, one of my favorite, most favorite makeups from the Dollar Tree. Didn't use that one this morning though, cause one of them ran out, and I'm trying to use some older makeup from CoverGirl, but. Might get on here one day and try these, should I? Y'all help me get that one on. Also, away from the self-care for a minute. Or not. Yeah. It's not really self-care. Something I hadn't really paid attention to. Don't know if they've had them before. Maybe y'all can help me out here. It's called towel scrunchies. Absorbs water after shower. Towel scrunchies. Are these to dry out water out of your hair? Because I sure could have used that this morning. <laughs> I thought if nothing else, I could put my hair up with them. Or I can put them in a gift bag. But are those to help get the water out of your hair after you, hair after you wash it? I have no clue. But I got some. Out of curiosity. Got a couple of more of these. Have y'all found these yet? It's the uh, pump lid for the mason jars. Found a couple more and got them. This is kind of a collective haul for more than one place. So, because uh, some days I go in there and I really don't need much, you know, or I'm looking for something particular they don't have it. I try not to just be buying. But I wanted two more of those. I did try, you know, they've got the soft soap that, Looks like a mason jar. You know, the pump, like it would be like this. I did actually try to put that pump on a mason jar and it didn't fit. It was just a little bit off. So if you want to use mason jars of any kind for lotions, soft soaps, you know, hand soaps, anything like that, you'd have to get the pump lid kit. Can't transfer the other one. I don't think I bought the Pop-Tart socks yet. <laughs> I do wear these. <laughs> I've got some you may see later. Not today. But these were the Pop-Tarts socks crew men's 6 to 12. I like getting them when they're the 6 to 12 size because they don't squeeze my toes as bad. And uh, really, they're uh, small enough, too, that you can give, like Eli can wear them. Uh, the older girls could wear them. So I just got one of those. I'm going to put one of these, I think, over the bathroom I'm fixing to redo for Eli. So he can hang his towels up and stuff on the back of the door when he gets done. Instead of always just throwing them right back in the wash when they're really clean. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So I got one of those, and you can also use it like for scarves, belts, anything you want to hang up, you can use it in the kitchen. Actually, it's really strong. I think you could even get by with hanging some of your uh, utensils on. Oh, I know you can your utensils, but maybe even some of your smaller uh, pots that are lighter and stuff, and you, you're lacking room, you could use one of these. Or is my thought process doing all right? Moo. <laughs> I probably should have changed. I'm in a silly mood. I put this on, and uh, Eli seen it for the first time, and he started laughing. But I said, you know how my mom is. Don't believe I got on me this one yet. 
The feel of it kind of tells me I didn't get it for yet. It feels really good. It's by Christmas House. It's a microfiber kitchen towel in the nose. She'll tell me if she's got it or not. But if she does, why can't she have a second one? Or put it in a gift bag if we'd rather do that. But look at the reindeer. <laughs> reindeer ears. I had to get that. Uh, got a couple of coloring books to put in some gift bags for today. Got one that's Christmas with Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus. And it has a countdown letter to Santa and downloads. It's 125 pages. Probably should have got two of the same kind. But I thought, no, they can swap out if they want to. Yeah. So I got one of those. The back of it reminded me of the paper doll days. When you punch them out and dress your doll. Not that these would fit on a doll, but the way they had it on the back. But I, I liked it because it had some activities go with it, like crossword puzzles, secret message, something that kind of occupies them, you know, kind of works their brain. I always did that for my girls. And they learned a lot by that. Happy Holidays, Coloring and Activities. 128. It says it's Tozy Books. But I thought that one was cute. So I got that one. Then, getting it closer to Christmas, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get a couple of Christmas coloring books. Here's a maze. I'm not sure. This one probably don't have the same activities the other one did. And like I said, they can swap back and forth. They can tear them out and share. That's the fun of it. But I think Adeline might have been the one that liked the sloth. Of course, Alexis might too. So we'll see. But I thought I'd show you those because they got some really cute uh, Christmas books, out, coloring books and stuff out right now for kids. <laughs> Am I still... I would put this on and show you if you hadn't seen my haul, but uh, I'm going to try to keep my hair halfway decent <laughs> until I get dressed. Anyway, and I got one of these. It's to attach to the handle that has, you know, like the fan blades for um, ceiling fans and the mop pads and the Swiffer type deal. I use it for the broom. And now you can get into corners. I'm going to actually try this on my bathtub because I have a hard time with my arms and stuff. They ache real bad when I try to do too much of this. A lot of them cleaning products. I can't really do a whole lot with. I've been using Comet paste and doing it. And it works good. So, I'm going to try that with the handle and see how that works. It might be the handle's too long. I might have to find a shorter one. But it's by Standard Essentials. By Essentials. I'm thinking the rest of my haul is a uh, food haul. If you see my grocery uh, from Food City, Pineapples. I think I paid $1.99 a can thinking they were on sale. Okay. Went to um, Dollar Tree yesterday and they had the Libby's name brand pineapples. And I think they're the same size. They might even be a little bit bigger. I don't, I didn't put my other ones up. $1.25. If I had waited, <laughs> I bought three cans. I could have got, uh, got them for, what, 50, 60, 74 cents cheaper a can. So, if you want pineapples and you can't get them under a dollar and 25, Dollar Tree's where to get them at. They had the tidbits. I got one of each so I could show you. And it's funny, I seen on me yesterday, I don't know when you're going to see this, but when I record yesterday, and we was talking about pineapple upside down cake with Sherry. And I said, I just bought some pineapple for one, hopefully soon. 
So I went ahead and bought another one. Libby's. It's 20 ounces, all natural fruit and light syrup. And they had the tidbits, all natural fruit and light syrup. So, um, Eli, I mean, Kenny actually likes banana pudding with some pineapple chunks in it. And this way, if I do something that needs crushed pineapple, because I'll find other stuff to use it for too, even in my yogurt, uh, Eli eats it just like this. So, yeah, it's gone in a matter of a day or two. So, I went and got some tidbits, because that way I don't have to mash them up and all that. Another thing they had, and I don't know if they've had these before. I know right now a lot of stores have uh, cream sticks on sale. And I've not been buying any because I'm pretty well stocked up in my pantry and I don't want to take a chance uh, that the date gets too close. I don't like to go t too far over the date, which I do. But I'd rather, since I know I've got quantity, but I got these. I took one for the chin for you all, but it adds to my pantry. And I've not tried it, I don't think, this brand. Clark's has uh, some of the meat product type things. I may have tried some of them, but this is condensed tomato soup. One reason I got it, it said 30, let me see, 36% larger than a 10.75 ounce can, and it is. It's actually a... 14.6 ounce can. Love tomato soup. I can eat tomato soup any time of the year. Love it with grilled cheese. Love it with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So, salad. So, I just bought one of those to show that they've got the Clarks. And like I said, right now, a lot of places do have cream soups on sale, which I really don't need. Unless I find a unique one. If I find something that I don't have a lot of, I might get it. Cream of mushroom soup, again, 14.1 ounces, 34% larger. Made with fresh cream, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, and it's a product of Canada. So I thought $1.25 is not a bad price, especially you're getting a larger can. It's winter time, casserole time, you know, for the holidays and stuff. So I wanted to get that. This, oh, this fell out of the box. My eyeliner from the Dollar Tree. I do use it too. <laughs> Betty Crocker mad loaded mashed potatoes. Made with real potatoes. Don't, I think I bought loaded potatoes before. I don't have any in stock here. They're good till my birthday. Yeah, January 19th of 2024. Two cups of water, three tablespoons butter, three-fourths cup milk. The downside to these. You want to hear the down? Here's the downside, people, to some. This particular. If you want something quick that you just add water to, don't get this one. The downside is you do use two cups of water, but you also need three tablespoons butter and three-quarter cup milk. So, if you're wanting a quick meal and you don't have any milk and uh, you're buying these because I know I buy them, I can get them cheaper. But, to show you and uh, try it again because, like I said, I think I've had a little bit baked potato before. I went ahead and got one. But, if you get this one, you will need butter and milk. We have been eating this old-fashioned oats, 100% whole grain. I went ahead and got one more this time. They've been having them quite a bit. And if I bought them every time or bought four or five every time, I'd have a ton. Of course, they're good for almost two more years, August of 25. The one thing I will say about these oats, if you want, Omi was talking about how the texture is different than like the Walmart brand of Old Fashioned or the Quaker brand. The flakes are a little bit smaller. You do need to probably cook them a little bit longer. They are going to have a different texture. They're not going to be quite as soft tasting. I like it because I like the bite in my oatmeal. So if I didn't bite for anybody but me, I would. It uh, 
the cooking directions is uh, stir oats. They say bring to a boil. After you add salt and water, stir in oats and reduce heat to medium. Cook, stir occasionally for five minutes, remove from heat, and let stand two to three minutes. I need to try it that way. I normally make my oats in the microwave. The other old-fashioned oats, I do three minutes. This old-fashioned oats in my microwave, for just a serving, I have to do it about six minutes for Kenny's liking. Uh, how are y'all finding this cooking up? The taste is good, and like I said, I like the texture personally, or I would get the other one. So I went ahead and got one more, the Senko, and they're a pound. Yeah, that was a lot of explanation for <laughs> one more item. I went ahead and got some of the Fun Eddie Oreo cookie pieces, vanilla frosting. Couldn't pass it up. Yeah. I don't think I bought this one. I've got some Fun Eddie uh, different types of mixes. Don't think I got them at the Dollar Tree, though, because I'm wanting to think I got them for a dollar a box somewhere. Can't remember that either. But I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get one of these. Fun Eddie Austin. Something, you know, quick for the kids. Well, I know you're probably tired of seeing me in my cow outfit. <laughs> I need to go get ready. Take care of what I need to take care of outside. I may go flip them out by wearing it. I don't know if I want to get it dirty yet. I may have to just put some sweats on. And... We got some things we're doing today, but I hope each of you all have a good day or had a good day, and uh, yeah, find something to smile about. It, it can be something as silly as this. Look here. I would try to open that can with it, but I'm not going to. It is still on there. I'll have to let you know on the next Dollar Tree haul. And, can't say I, did, I didn't do too bad. <laughs> if I'd used a darker color, you would have seen it better. But y'all helped me. So, until next time, we'll talk soon.